What is up guys, it's your boy Serge. So today I have my iPhone 14 Pro. We're gonna be comparing the iAdi versus the Indobble dashboard mounts. We're gonna try it out with our new iPhone and we're gonna see how well these dashboard and windshield mounts compare. Now I have used iAdi and Indobble mounts before for about two years now, so I can give you some useful insights on the operation of both of these. Let's take a look at how they work. Now you're probably wondering which one of these is better for you. Well, it's really going to depend on what you value. So I value quality and I value the craftsmanship. So that's one of the things that I really value in the design and the build quality of these devices. Now, if you like the closing mechanism, while it is more complex, it is kind of cool, right? That closing mechanism is neat. It is kind of cool. However, I found that sometimes it's a little annoying because I feel like there's extra steps involved with it. So that's one thing I kind of don't like about it. I just wish it had better quality. Other than that, they are very similar in a lot of ways. But in the winter time with the heater running, you get more surface area protection on this one. So I think for me, my personal opinion, the, the winner is definitely gonna be the Indobble. Okay, here we are. Let's go ahead and try out both. Put it in, close, and you're secure. And when it's time to go, push the button, grab the phone. How does it work with the iAdi? Prime it, insert it, and then push down, and then it automatically closes. So while the operation is similar, these products are similar, you're still gonna get a better value with the Indobble, strictly because it's more affordable and it's more sturdy, which in my opinion is much better value. In terms of thickness, you can clearly see that with the iAdi, it's a little bit thinner, it's a little bit more fragile, but you get a much more sturdy one with the Indobble. And that's something you can clearly see in the design. They did a better job, I believe, with the Indobble than they did with the iAdi. However, this closing mechanism, it's intricate, and because of it, it has a higher chance of breaking, which is one of the reasons why I'm not a super big fan of the iAdi's. And as you can see, there is a difference in size. So with the Indobble, it does a better job of protecting the phone because it has uh, more surface area. So if you have your heater on, for instance, like your dashboard or, or windshield heater on, um, this little button there, then the heat is less likely to make your device overheat with the Indobble. So I think that is a win for the Indobble for sure. With the iAdi, it uses a different type of operation mechanism. So essentially you just slide your phone in there and uh, but first you have to activate it by clamping these two buttons here. With the Indobble, it's similar. You just push a little button, you push one button and it fluidly opens up. It has slightly more room for you to put your phone in there, which I do like. Um, however, with the iAdi, you just take your device, you insert it, and the mere pressure from the back automatically closes it. Now, I'm actually not a super big fan of this automatic closure because sometimes I'm not ready to close it and it just kind of closes anyway, which is why I prefer the Indobble. For instance, you take, the, you take your phone, right, and you insert it. And then when you're ready, that's when you close it with your hands and then it's secure. Now, in my previous reviews, I have covered iAdi's quality and I have had trouble with these little arms here. Sometimes, eventually over time, what'll happen is these arms can fail and I have had that happen. Let's take a closer look at the build quality of both. They are both ball socket joint based. And with the iAdi, you do have kind of these like smoother curves, which I think looks a little bit better. It looks a little bit more appealing because rounded edges are nicer to look at. But with the Indobble, you get kind of a much more sturdy, much more trucker like feel. It's just more tough. It feels like it's really just gonna last you a lot longer. 
Plus, with the Indobble, you also get the included air vent mount system. So if you do decide you want to go with the air vent mount, it's included with the dashboard, windshield, and double car phone mount, which is awesome. I really appreciate that. You don't really get that with the iAuti. With the iAuti, you only just get one type of setup. So which one do you guys like more? I want to hear from you guys. Which type of dashboard phone mount do you use? Do you use the air vent? Do you use the dashboard? Do you use the windshield? Which type of phone mounts do you guys use? I would really like to know. Please leave a comment down below and let's chat about it. Tell me about which ones you like and which ones you don't like. It'd be very interesting to know. In my particular case, I like the ones that go either into the dashboard or the ones that use a sticker magnetic mount, which I have reviewed on this channel. So be sure to take a look. I'll leave a card up top over here. Take a look at it and let me know what you guys think about it. It'd be really interesting to have some conversations about it. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Cheers.